Today is historic for not only Florida, but for Miami Jackson. After the head coach stepped down, I kind of like took a look and why can I do it? And today is true. We got my assistant head coach with me, Luther Campbell. We got a great staff with us. We're just here to change the atmosphere around here at Miami Jackson and get some W's on the board. You know, I know I can do it. It's a warm in here. It's going to be a lot of everything going on, but guess what? I'm going to show you we can do it just as much as anybody else. So I'm just happy to be here at Miami Jackson, the new head coach of the Generals football team. Y'all just lay around for it. Watch what we're going to do. It's going to be big things coming up. But it's a great thing for women in general. I mean, when you look at uh, when you look at the Buffalo Bills and, and signing up a woman, the first woman coach to be in the NFL, and you see Ms. Brunson here to be the first uh, female uh, head coach in the state of Florida, that's a great thing. You know, nobody can discount that, especially in this time, in these times that uh, we have these concussions and all this, and women are deciding whether or not they want their sons to play football. You know, uh, I unfortunately, I, I know her since she was a, a kid. You know, somebody asked me, how do you know Miss Brunson? I know her since she was a kid. I know her mom. You know, she's a real close friend of the family. She's always been the girl in the neighborhood. She's a legend. She won't tell you that, but she's always been the girl in the neighborhood that played football, you know, from semi-pro to uh, just street football in the streets uh, with every other boy. So, you know, I'm just happy to be a part of this. Uh, it's no circus act under no circumstances because that was one of the first things that I, you know, had a conversation with some of the good folks in. You know, we're about winning. She's about winning, and I'm just happy to be here to support her. Most of the times when somebody can talk what they talk, I can walk what I walk and talk what I talk. So anybody want to talk football, let's go. Anybody want to play football, suit up. We're not here to talk about music or reality TV. We're here for football only. So if that's what they want to hear, they have to read somewhere else. That's it. There's no, nothing else for that. Because I don't want people to think we're here for publicity or here to do anything else. We're here to let Miami Jackson be contenders and win. Been coaching that's since I was in high school, so that's not nothing new for me. I've been coaching through the parks. Um, even in college, I was coaching. I spend my time with the kids. It was a lot of people that coached me, and I was blessed to get out of Miami to see other things. And I think that's just my objective to get these kids um, out of Miami Jackson, out of Miami, period, to see other things, to go on and be able to bring it back here and do the same thing I'm doing right now. So my objective is just to be here to help these kids. Coach, you, you mentioned it when you, earlier that you know there will be a lot of attention on you. Do you, you feel you have more to prove being the first female coach in the state and maybe the expectation people will be watching to see how you do? Most definitely. I mean, I would be lying if I say it wasn't. You know, it's a lot of people that probably applied for this position and look who's here, you know? So I'm ready for whatever comes my way. Um, I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to get these guys prepared and ready to win. Like I said, I'm not a loser and I don't like to win. And everybody around me got to have that winning mentality. So, hey, anybody who got doubt, like I said, lay around for it. I didn't know how much it meant really until today. Um, I just thought I was coming in here to coach a football team and my phone almost, I, I never had a dead phone. My phone is dead. I got people who I don't think ever had my phone number. So obviously it is very important. And I'm here as a woman saying, well, if it's important, it's important to me also. I'm ready to do whatever it takes. And as a woman, you're gonna have to judge me like you judge everybody else because it's a man's field. For anyone to be the first person to do something, it takes a brave person, of course. Uh, how are you approaching this? Um, Whew. Today it was kind of crazy because I was sitting down eating my lunch and somebody said congratulations and I had to figure out what for. And then after I figured out what for, I just had to put on my big coach panties and that was it. <laughs> oh, 